Hey everyone, welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. Uh, I am finally getting the video out to the one, you know, I always say it's the video that everyone hates to love or loves to hate. No idea why we enjoy watching other people's grocery hauls, though I do find the standard weekly or fortnightly grocery hauls aren't really appealing to me. I definitely like watching other people who do monthly or bulk or this camera is crooked isn't it um or uh, you know like something slightly out of the ordinary in shopping not just a standard shop uh but each to their own um so um this is a bit late any of my regulars i apologize normally i get this out like the day after i've done the grocery and i cut back on friday and it's now tuesday so uh really quickly for just for my regulars I had a bit of a health issue while I was down doing the groceries, ended up in emergency for 12 hours and uh, so I ended up having to stay an extra day and then since I've been back I've had to do some monitoring and some doctor's appointments and I've got a couple more booked for later in the week and an ultrasound and stuff to go to so I'll go into more of that in another video but for this video this is our grocery haul so we don't need to go into any of that <laughs> but I do apologise for being such a delay. So for anyone popping in new here. As I said, we're a family of eight. We live off-grid. The kids are homeschooled and Daryl and I work from home as well and I shop every eight to nine weeks. This grocery shop is for an eight-week period and the grocery shop post this one will be an eight-week period as well to line up with Christmas and when I do it I travel three and a half hours away and I stay for a night or two with my mum while I'm doing it. Now I do everything in that run. I do Bunnings, uh, Kmart, Coles, Woolworths, Costco, fruit and veg, butcher, everything and I actually do a bit of a shop with video as well most months. Now I did record that or start recording that and then had issues so I will release that but I won't put it out now. I'll I might turn that into a little bit of a explanation about the health issues and stuff or whatever you know just a bit of a chat with that as well because I did buy a bunch of stuff for the kids and that that I normally show off in that shop with me that I don't show off in the grocery haul because it just gets left in the car. <laughs> um, so we, the kids are 8, 10, 10, 11, 13 and 17 um, and homeschooled, work from home, all the rest of it. So this is our food for an entire eight week period. Uh, Daryl does go into town once or twice a week to get animal feed and he does sometimes buy me fresh milk. My kids and Daryl do not eat dairy at, in very large quantities. Uh, they use rice milk and coconut cream and um, we occasionally put a little bit of a, a hard cheese in things but they can eat fermented dairy so yogurts and things like that so we will buy cow's milk products for making yogurt and stuff the allergist suggested we try fermented dairy and it worked which I was grateful for because it's a whole lot cheaper uh, so all this is to say that it is pretty much everything we eat which me allows me to make that budget easier so whilst my budget is a little more loose than it was when I started doing all of this because YouTube helps the income from YouTube definitely helps the, to allow me to be a little bit more loose what we try and do is around about two dollars per person per meal per day so if we plan on three meals a day not that my children eat far more than three meals but if we we plan on three meals a day then we go uh two dollars per person per meal so two dollars by eight people by three meals is is what i try and use as my yardstick now i don't have to keep to that uh, that is a choice to a degree but also because i don't want to overspend uh, if we can manage on that and eat well on that then why spend more so let me get into the groceries now if you haven't seen one of mine before because i shop so far away and we pull it out of the trailer i put that little clip at the beginning of us unpacking it off the trailer i do it in table loads so I unload out of the Eskies one lot and I film it and then I'll unload the next and film it and unload the next. So well, let's put that in here and then I'll come back and I'll go through all the numbers for anyone who's interested. So check it out and then I'll be back. Alrighty, first table. We got half a dozen of the penne and half a dozen of spaghetti. We've still got plenty of macaroni and stuff in the left over so this was just to top up the numbers i got 10 of the popcorn i think i said this last time that honest to goodness sells this in bulk but um i just haven't done an honest to goodness order lately so i'm just buying it like this which is still it's still a good price it's just horrible to have all this packaging so you know i got four of the banana chips i use this in the 
chocolate banana instant porridge, but the kids like to eat them as a snack as well. We were completely out of sugar and I got a whole bunch of fruit. So I bought 10, ba 10 bags of it and it's three kilos. So 30 kilos of sugar, which might be all we need for next month as well. But uh, it's good to have it when I've got produce that needs preserving. Half a dozen of the shelf stable cold udon noodles. We like these ones, they're only $1.50 each and they're shelf stable, which works really well for us. Nutritional yeast flakes, that's another thing that honest to goodness I normally buy in bulk, but I haven't lately. The Coles brand uh, tortilla chips, these, they only had six left, so I got six of those. I got some different ones elsewhere that you'll see. We really like these ones, especially for eating, like just dipping them into salsa. The other ones are good for nachos, but these are really good for just snacking on. So I try and get as many of those particular brand as I can, and they're the cheapest. They're $1.15 per 100, which is really cheap compared to a lot of other corn chips. So I always try and get as many of them as I can. Now I got some Vegeta because we had run out, but they Costco also had this one here, which is a Gnaw chicken powder, which I decided to give a go. Um, but I got my Vegeta anyway. They were both, this one, the Vegeta is about $10 and this is about 17. So it's more expensive, but it actually has chicken product in it. Whereas this is vegetable. So I thought I'd give both a go. They're not going to go off and I'll find use for them. I got some miso because I've been saying I have a miso kit. I need to make some of my own, but I got some to tide me over a couple of jars of sun dried tomatoes. I find that these are the best price. These big jars from Woolworth, so if you're going to use enough of them, this is worth buying. I got some almond flour. I grind my own almonds for almond meal for a lot of things, but there's a couple of things that I make that this really fine uh, blanched almond flour works really well for. So I tend to buy just one of these every trip. I got a minced garlic. Uh, I actually have some of the minced garlic and ginger that I got last month left as well, but I wanted some straight garlic and instant yeast. Four of the Maisery green curry pastes, a couple of baking powders. And then because I went in to shop at Coles, which isn't something that I normally do or Woolworths, whichever one it was, because of the mix up of everything this month, I saw that they had these on the shelf and they were 40% off or something. So the price was quite good on them. And they have a beef and a chicken vegeta. So I grabbed those. I kind of actually forgot I'd grabbed those when I went to Costco and grabbed this one as well. But stock powder, it's not gonna go bad. So that's fine. I bought 24 tins of corn. I got a 12 pack of the basil pesto and Aldi didn't have any coconut cream. And I just, I didn't want to go to another Aldi. I didn't want to go anywhere more than I needed to this month. So I bought, I just swapped it for the Woolworths brand. It's got guar gum in it, but that's it. So it should be fine. There was a, this I think was added because they were short on these ones. So I got, two dozen of them I think whatever they supplied in that I got five four four or five packs of these uh the standard mission tortillas that I burrito tortillas that I buy these are these have gone up slightly the 9.29 for uh, a three pack so it's three packs of 12 they're 576 grams each so about 1700 1.7 kilos um for 9.29 i also something new that they had was these organic flour tortillas which i'm not fussed on the organic but they uh the ingredients on them are a little bit cleaner than on these and they and i'm not hugely fond of these unless i'm toasting them so i wanted to see if these were a bit softer and these were 8.99 for 1.6 kilos so they were basically the same price so i grabbed a bag of these just to just to give a go I got a bag of dried plums or prunes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and I've been using these to make the um, no-bake granola muesli bars so that I showed on Facebook. So I still have a little bit left, but I grabbed another bag. And I grabbed some of these small tortillas. Normally I make these when we have birria and stuff, but I just, I preemptively bought a few extra bits and pieces because I'm just not feeling great. So I grabbed those. Some anchovies for pizza sesame seeds because I'm completely out and again that's something that I normally buy in bulk from honest to goodness and haven't done the order I got a soy sauce and a balsamic vinegar now rice cakes the Aldi only had five of our normal rice cakes that we buy and as I said I just really didn't want to go to another Aldi so I grabbed some corn ones instead I'm sure the kids all like them fine so the, I got a dozen of the corn and five of the rice I got six boxes of the rice bubbles 
six boxes of the wheat bix two boxes of corn flakes and i also grabbed two boxes of the little ice cream cones because we use the ninja creamy this ice cream's about 800 mils of ice cream between the six of them so this is going to be nice for them to just put a scoop each out of that 800 mils sort of thing i also bought i think it was 12 bags maybe more than that i think it was 12 12 bags of these oats so these are 1.5 kilo bags of oats i only have about one of these bags left from last month so i grabbed those I got Daryl some LNP because he asked for it and it's Father's Day on Sunday. I actually think I ended up with two of them because I think I bought one from each shopping centre. Again, I stuffed up a little bit with some of the things. Some milk powder. We use this to make our yogurt with the UHT milk because the kids seem to tolerate dairy so long as it's fermented. So we found that they don't eat huge amounts of it at a time either. So we found that I can use cows UHD cow's milk and cow's milk powder to make our yogurt and that's fine i grabbed a couple of things of cupcake papers it's the twins 10th birthday soon and just so that sonnet has them to use for when she's baking i grabbed some filters that were on sale because we've got some coming in the mail but they haven't turned up yet so i just grabbed those some antacids we got toothpicks goat's milk soap that i buy from aldi it's slrs free a new cup a whole bunch of scourers again this is one that i think i ordered six from each shop so we've ended up with a whole bunch but again they won't go off they'll just go on a shelf new toothbrushes for everyone and i also got the coconut cream the goon bag coconut cream delivered to mum so we've got two boxes each have four five kilo containers in it and this cream's so thick that i tend to dilute it 30 to 50 percent so it ends up gaining that much in quantity as well so that is the first table load. Righty, second table, rice milk. There is, we got four toilet papers. There is, I think it's like 17 of the Aldi rice milk. It was, it was whatever was on the shelf and a dozen of the Woolworths ones, we do have some left in the cupboard too. Uh, some of the veggie crisps that Carvik requests every time and the tempura ones that Surreal likes these a lot. So they, they share those. I got some of my cheese biscuits. I ate a pack or half a packet on the way home. And uh, I think they were half price at Coles and Woolworths. So I've accidentally bought like two at each place, but that's fine. These are the big bags of corn chips that I get from Costco that we use for nachos. So they work quite well. Um, Snack wise, I got a few bits and pieces of one of the big bags of salt and vinegar from Costco. They haven't had salt and vinegar before, but I saw that. These were on sale, these new flavors, a barbecue pork belly and a fried chicken. So I thought I'd try that. And these were half price and they're one of my favorites. I got the sweet corn turtle chips that we share out. And then I did grab the chocolate ones. I haven't grabbed these before, but mum and I grabbed a small packet while I was there and we had some over ice cream so I think that these will be really nice crushed up as a mix-in for the ninja creamy and a bag of sultanas I got peanut butter uh, I got four one of these is for a neighbor though but so three for us a eight the six pack of the 800 gram muri tomatoes and a six pack of the passata the muri passata I got two a box each of the seaweed and the plain which is here underneath as well um, so 12 each of those rice crackers. Uh, Costco had rice bran oil this month. I haven't seen it there before, so I grabbed some rice bran oil. Uh, it's a five litre. It was a really good price. And I got our normal olive oil blend. This has gone up to $78 for the two of these. So this will be strictly for mayo and other oils for everything else. Two of the one litre honeys from Costco. These are only $9.99 at Costco, so it's a really good price. And a maple syrup, and these are 20 at Costco. Some apple cider vinegar, which I will need because I need to make caramelized onion jam and stuff. So I knew I've got some left, but I knew I'd need some more. And some of the smaller coconut creams, uh, coconut milks for coffee. We use the bulk ones that I buy now, but I grabbed these because it means that if there isn't a bulk one decanted, rather than me rushing to do it, we can use some of that. I got two of the coffee beans that I really like from Costco. I these are more expensive, it's $20 for the kilo, 
but they're really, really nice. So I got a cheap pack as well. These are $12 a kilo versus the 20. So I grabbed cheap and then grabbed the expensive ones as well. I got the ghee. Now the ghee is the same price. It's $39.99 as it was last month, but they've upsized the jar. So the jars are now 1.5 liters instead of 1.35. So that's a lot dollar, lot better dollar per hundred. Ketchup for our hot dogs and whatever else they get used for and the hot dog rolls. So everyone who's watched one of these before knows that we have hot dogs for dinner the night of the groceries. So I, hot dog rolls, ketchup. I also grabbed a couple of loaves of bread and this is just for ease for the next day or two of some toaster sandwiches for lunch, that sort of thing. Two bags of the 10 kilos of plain flour. One of these is for the neighbor to go with the peanut butter and one is mine. We got some pads, some foil and some glad bag. They were both $4 off. I don't actually need, need either of these, but at $4 off, I grabbed them because they can sit in a cupboard until I do need them. Uh, the, I ended up getting dish detergent from Big W because it comes in these big one liters and I did film when I bought it. So it was something like $2.99 for a liter. And normally I buy the small ones from Aldi and they're $2.79 for like 500 mils. So these are a lot better value and I get the 10% off at Big W as well. So they're even cheaper. And this is the laundry detergent I decided to try from Big W as well. I can't remember the price, I'll try and look it up, but it is the four liter, no SLS, and they still didn't have the Ecos one that I like from Costco, so I'm glad I grabbed those. Uh, and these were just some more egg drawers. These are egg holding containers. They were $15 on the clearance table at Aldi. Uh, so they're small enough that they won't fit some of our eggs in them, but the ones that do fit, it's still good to have more storage. Uh, so. Uh, I think I missed the full cream milk in the back here too. So there's 12 full cream milks there and that's the HT milk that I use for making yogurt with. Alrighty, we've got our third table. So we, I got four of the pork roasts. So these ones are $6.99 a kilo. Each one is around about seven kilos. So four of those, and I bought the sausage casings to make some sausages. And then a box of the beef trim, which was, it's whatever weight they get. So it's $9.99 a kilo. This happened to be about 20 kilos, so $198. So that's a box of beef trim. I got strawberries and blueberries. I got four flats of each. Um, so, I'm not sure what that, I think it was two and a half kilos per flat. So maybe 10 kilos of strawberries and I don't know they're 125 grams with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. So it's like a kilo and a half there. So six kilos maybe of blueberries. Um, these were $14 per flat today. Uh, I got hot dogs for dinner tonight. These are the Filipino ones, Filipino ones. I think that was, that's correct. Yep, Filipino style hot dogs. These are a chicken pork blend. They're nice and soft. They're very nice. The only problem is, I say this every time, see the black stripes on them? That is actually plastic. Each sausage is individually wrapped in a piece of plastic, but you know. I got my frozen veggies of choice. There's some the back. There. Yeah, which is, there's 10 of them. They're under the thing as well. 10 of the, these were on sale for $5.30, I think, rather than the $6.50. And they're just my preferred frozen veg if for later on in the month when we've used all our fresh stuff up. I got four whole chickens, three nine nine a kilo at, I think these were from Aldi. Um, I got these instead of legs this month. Um, but I did buy 10 kilos of the bone-in chicken thighs, bone-in skin-on chicken thighs from Woolworths as well. So there's 10 kilos of that there. I got, they had this breakfast budget bacon, economy bacon at the butcher for $7.99 a kilo so I grabbed six of those but I also had already grabbed four of the middle bacon from Aldi these are $12 a kilo seven or eight dollars a kilo so this is much nicer 
like pieces, but this is just as tasty, especially if you're dicing it up for anything. Bag of chocolate chips. These have gone up considerably in price. It was $35 for a two kilo bag. So I think I need to find somewhere else to buy them if I can, perhaps. I got two packs of the seafood salad mix, the seafood extender, the faux crab. Uh, I thought we might do sushi this month with this. I got a full cream milk. This is just for myself because I really like milk and this for real milk is owned by my friend's father and family and is really nice. It's a pasteurized only milk, so it always has a really nice cream top on it. Carvic requested baby octopi. octopi. Um, Daryl really likes these as well. So I grabbed this for like, you know, a Father's Day type thing, but Carvic actually requested them and he likes to eat them too. I got some of the boneless split chickens. I think I got three or four of each flavor. There's a mango flavor and a Greek herb flavor from Aldi. I grabbed two of the hummus. Yes, I should really make hummus, but I have been really slack and so they haven't had it. Uh, they really like hummus with the rice crackers, so I grabbed that. That's the favorite brand too. If I buy a different brand, they don't always like it. So I grabbed some of the Woolworths brand ravioli because this has proved to be just such an easy thing to have in the freezer and use throughout the month. I grabbed two of the small sour creams. I got these from Aldi and they, it is much more expensive per hundred to buy these than it is to buy the Costco one. But the Costco one kept on going bad on me because I'm the only one who eats it. So I thought it was better to have two smaller containers and I just grabbed a tiny pot set yogurt to use as starter for my yogurt because I haven't made yogurt in a while so I don't have any at the moment. So this is for summer yogurt making. I got six of the small red potatoes that I really like for roasting underneath the the pork skin and I've got those four porks and I have found that these work fantastically when you roast them up and then you freeze them for reheating for a meal. I've really enjoyed having them in the freezer so I'm going to do a bunch of them up with the pork rind when we do the sausages and four of the three kilo bags of carrots. I got some seconds avocados. I think these were just five dollars a box there. We'll just have to go through and pick what we want to use um, but they were on their second shelf he always clears off his second shelf when I come he, I warn him that he's come, that I'm coming and he keeps anything there for me so that is the third table all right next table the strawberries and the blueberries are still here just gonna have to ignore them because I just haven't figured out where I'm putting them yet I got some of the Mercy Valley cheese which I really like at Costco it's only 26 per kilo I think which is cheaper than most other places I got some of the champagne ham in the little individual portions, which is good for the kids when they're having with it as a snack or with lunch. But I also really like this ham that comes in the three. They're both much and much. They're both about $15 a kilo, but I prefer this one. And this one works to put the little egg cups in as well. I got just some baby cucumbers because the kids love those. I got some salami, which is for pizza. I got a pork belly. I'm going to turn half of it into bacon and the other half will probably be dinner for Sunday night. Um, I got some puff pastry, two of the bulk puff pastries from Costco. I got this. This is just something that I bought that I, you know, a little bit of a splurge. It's lobster and prawn ravioli. It sounds really yummy. So I grabbed that. I got six of the, no, five, five, so about 10 kilos of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They are currently 11.49 a kilo and two of the chicken breast which are 9 dollars a kilo, and Sonnet wants to share the cat. Um, I got this again, which was something that I haven't bought before, a queso fresco for uh, fresh cheese, which I'm going to have when we do the birria. Might have to, I'll have to freeze some of it because I'm the only one who'll eat it, but it just was something to try. And the Grana Padano and the shredded pizza cheese. I also bought a tomb again. We bought the tomb last month and it was really, really nice. So I've grabbed another one of those and we have two of the bulk Nuttalex there. Also a four pack of the four litre white vinegars. Uh, I don't normally buy this from Costco because it's just bulky and I don't have the room, but because I got the toilet paper from Big W this month, I had the room to do it. I got a box of Seconds Broccoli. Um, this worked out at like, I want to say it was only like $10 box or something because it was Seconds, but it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly fine for us, so we'll happily eat that. I got some of the automated insects control system and some refills. We're going to give this brand a go because the refills are only $4.50 each. This is the 
Coles brand. So we'll give that a go. Or Woolworths brand, one of the two. So we'll give that a go and see how it is. I bought a 20 kilo bag of really nice big brown onions because we've only got one jar of onion jam left. So these will be turned mostly into that. And I got four boxes all up of these seconds oranges. So they smell, they smell really, really nice. Apparently they're really good to eat at the moment. And so there's four boxes of them and I might make some cordial up with them as well. Sonnet might have to help me juice them all. We also got two boxes of corn, which is awesome because I love fresh corn. So there's two boxes of those. A box of rock melons. They were, again, I'm pretty sure these were seconds. They were really cheap, but they smell really nice and ripe. And we got two boxes of seconds bananas as well. So these are very ripe, but that's cool because that's the best sort for making smoothies and banana breads and things like that. So there's two boxes of those bananas there as well. So I think we've got a few things for one last table. So that's that table. There was only one last thing. So this was just a box of small red apples. There was a few seconds potatoes that he tossed in the top just because they were sitting on the second shelf. But just a, it's a 19 kilos, I think, of these small, they look like red delicious apples to me. So there's the apples for the kids as well. And that was it. That is everything. There was a couple of things that we missed, didn't realize. 25 kilo bag of baker's flour. I just emptied a full 25 kilos into the crate, into the buckets before I left. So this is just the second 25 kilos. And then I got three of the Italian tomato pastes from Coles as well. And there was a second LNP for Daryl. And this, there was a third of the insect control system. So one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen and one for inside is the plan. Uh, so that was actually the last of it. Alrighty, so within the costings from each of the places, there was a few things that were uh, not normally encountered in my grocery bill. Not very many though. Uh, there was the egg trays that I got from Aldi, which I showed there. And I bought a bunch of stuff for mum and I for lunch, some uh, croissants and some ham and stuff so that I could make them all up and stick them in a freezer for her. Um, what else did I buy? There was... Uh, something else that was about $30 worth that I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I bought, when I went to Coles, I grabbed her. She uses those, you know, the packet pastas that you buy, uh, that you just add milk and microwave to them, and they were half price. So I bought her, like, uh, six of each flavor of those and some ketchup manise and stuff like that, stuff that she needed as well. So I bought that with my groceries, and I don't get it off her or anything. So, you know, that's within my grocery cost, but it's nothing particularly huge. So what we did spend, let me open my book here. So this month we did 1741 at Costco, uh, 463 at Aldi, 47 at The Butchers, which was basically just bacon, I think, this month, uh, $300 at The Fruit and Veg, 202 at Coles, and 462 at Woolies. Now we also did uh, $156. 10 at Big W which was the laundry detergent and the dish detergent and the toilet paper and $190 was the delivery for the coconut cream that I get delivered from Hello Pure to mum's place because it's free to deliver it to her so that is uh, 8 by 5 kilo goon bags of the coconut cream that we then decant into jars to use for our coffees and baking and ice cream and all that sort of thing. Uh, so the total was $350481 for this 8 week period which when I break it down ends up being about $438 a week or $54 per person per week or $7.82 per person per day or around about $2.60 per person per meal based on those three meals a day. So it has gone up a little bit from what I used to spend a couple of years ago. Uh, and part of that is the appetites of the kids definitely, but also part of that is the cost of food. Uh, not a huge amount has gone up considerably for what we use to be honest like there are certain times that it goes up and then comes back down i've noticed that chicken has a tendency to fluctuate in price at costco for example one of the main things that i have recognized is or noticed is olive oil and ghee so fats they have a tendency they have had a tendency to just go up and keep on going up over the span of time that we've been shopping um and everything else is, everything is going up, but only by 
small pieces of what doesn't it doesn't feel like it's affecting my cost of groceries excessively other than you know just cpi each time other than those few different items so uh my budget is still staying within scope of comfortableness for me i don't feel like we overspend um i feel like we have gotten a little less uh tight on what we buy because we've had the ability to with the income from uh, YouTube and things like that so it's allowed me to not count every cent like there was at the beginning there I, by the time I got to Costco because it's the last stop I'd have to calculate it all on a calculator while I was going to make sure that I had enough to get through the Costco ship, shop but also to pay for the fuel to get home and depending on when I was getting money into the account next to make sure that I could get through to that point I don't have to do that anymore um, we've got a little bit put in the savings account and we so that I it means that if I need to pull it we had rates due this week so I pulled some out for rates which is what it's there for it's not really savings it's just a separate account for other things that need to be paid so I had to pay rates this week as well as the groceries and because we have to have such a large sum available for every grocery trip it takes a little bit of finagling with the resources as well because I'm only going every eight weeks which means that I need that sort of three grand all at once every eight weeks uh, so I do things like uh, I have a few patrons on patreon thank you very much to you guys who uh, support me there and hopefully I can provide you with some more bits and pieces as life gets different <laughs> uh, but I always pull out any money from there just the week of the grocery haul I don't touch it any other time uh, so I pull that out from there and that goes towards whatever I'm using for the groceries and things like that and any money that I get into PayPal from selling anything generally speaking it just sits in the account until grocery time so if I need to I can pull it from there and we're pretty comfortable with that we don't have any significant extra money of course but we're doing okay and that's the main thing I definitely feel far more comfortable now than I did a couple of years ago which is saying a lot considering a lot of people are struggling now because of the costs of everything increasing but I do think that part of that is the hard work that's gone into the whole eight or nine week grocery hauls and the food that we've got put away because I've canned things when I got cheap and like I got 18 kilos of broccoli for four bucks this month um, or I bought flats of strawberries and and uh, blueberries for fourteen dollars a flat um, I got two boxes of bananas for like five bucks that are all sort of going pretty yuck but that's fine because I've been making banana bread and banana muffins and we freeze them for smoothies and ice creams and treats and so by doing all of that it means that I've got a lot that I can access even when things are tight and so I feel far I feel like we're doing okay because of that so anyway that was the numbers for this month and I will try and get another video out in the next couple of days to try and just explain where I'm sitting and why I've been a bit slack and just you know life in general and uh, I have been filming all the food that I've been doing so I have been canning and all that in spits and spats over the last few days and I have been filming it so I will get onto the food videos soon too so thank you everyone for joining me and I will see you guys on the next video